Okay, before we begin, a slight disclaimer. I promise there will be no talk of male anatomy or female undergarments in this video. Those are behind me. For now. So, hello everyone. Welcome to the latest episode of Book Time with Elvis with me, Mark, and with Elvis. Elvis, come here. Come up. Come up. Oh, there you are. People were asking to see you yesterday. Yeah. Dear, oh dear. Say hello. <laughs> So yes, welcome to the latest episode of Book Time with Elvis with me, Mark, and a brief appearance there by uh, Elvis. And I have another tag video for you today. Can you believe it? So many videos. What is it coming to this channel? Uh, it's, uh, yeah, ridiculous really, isn't it? And I don't know what I've done to deserve this. Pr bizarrely, this is completely, completely coincidental. Um, if you've watched the video, tag video I did yesterday, the 25 questions to get to know me better tag, um, you will understand why. Uh, because I ranted about pet peeves, and one of them was this word, uh, bay, and I've only gone and been tagged in, um, in this, in this tag, yeah, the, uh, Book Bay, uh, Book Bay Summer Tag, excuse me, the, tw the 2022 Summer Book Bay Tag. Uh, I was tagged by Michael Romeo Talks Books, and he didn't see the video yesterday until after the fact, so uh, it is purely coincidental that I got tagged in this, and uh, if you want to see why uh, this is a problem for me, then uh, I, I shall leave a link uh, to, to the video from yesterday. This is an original tag created by uh, MJ, uh, I've gone blank <laughs> on the uh, on the name of uh, MJ's channel. Why? Why? It, it's usually here. Where is it? Uh, now I'm going to have to cut. Hang on a second. <laughs> oh yes, reading this life. Well, you can see I've uh, you know prepared myself very well for this, and this is a great tag. Name aside, it is it is a great tag, and I, I feel very happy uh, to do it. And MJ's, uh, you know, great. So you should you should definitely check out her channel, and also check out Michael's uh, channel because uh, he's uh, he's well worth watching as well. So this tag, um, the 2022 Summer Book Bay tag. Uh, let's get started uh, with the prompts. There are 12 prompts here. So, summer is a sexy time of year. Do you think reading is sexy? Share your thoughts. Well, I saw Steve Donahue's response to this, and he was going on about introverts and, and whatnot, and uh, that reading isn't sexy. I have to say I disagree. I mean, um, you know, everybody finds, you know, we don't all find the same thing sexy, do we? And I have to say a, a woman who's a reader... Um, you know, it's brownie points for me, for sure. Um, so there is a sexiness uh, to uh, that quality in somebody else. Obviously, do I think actually the, the, the activity of reading is sexy? No, necessarily. I suppose it might depend on what you're, what you're reading. Um, but I do find it definitely an attractive quality uh, in another person. Actually, it doesn't even have to be uh, sexy or, or sexual attraction. I think I find it uh, an attractive quality, even platonically. Uh, and among my male friends, it's something I can bond with them over as well. So there is certain uh, attraction, I think, between people uh, if you share uh, a hobby or share a passion for something. So yeah. Number two, random meetings. What fictional character and or author would you enjoy meeting at a backyard party slash cookout? I find these questions really difficult to answer because either I've got so many names uh, to go through or I can't think of any. Uh, though I would quite like to have a few drinks in the backyard with the fictional character of Long John Silver from Treasure Island. We could sing songs and, 
dance on dead men's chests and drink bottles of rum um, and that kind of thing. And I think it would be fun because I'm sure he would be the life and soul of the party and tell loads of interesting and probably quite shocking stories. But I think that would be great fun. Uh, number three, opposites attract. Name two characters from different books slash genres you would like, uh, you would love to see coupled or partnered up in a story. Well, I'm going to stick with my old uh, shipmate, uh, Long John Silver, and I would partner him up with, I would partner him up with the character from the books I'm reading at the moment, and that is uh, Super Sleuth and uh, amazing uh, detective. Uh, Charlie Chan of the uh, Honolulu Police Force. Um, I don't know if any of you have read the, the Charlie Chan books, and I think, to be honest, they get a they get an unfair rap these days, uh, labelled uh, blanketly as, as as racist. But I think if you read it, you'll you'll form a form a slightly different opinion. There is, of course, racism in them, but very rarely tends to be from uh, the author or the main character. Um, you know, they tend to be much more uh, open, open-minded. Uh, and I think that would be really kind of fun to have uh, Charlie Chan and uh, Long John Silver heading off on adventures. If I could add uh, one character I mentioned uh, yesterday, uh, though actually, yes, if I could add Jay, or Jerome K. Jerome, uh, from Three Men in a Boat, but the character of Jay into the mix. I think that'd be great fun. And if the th if the three of them and I, and Elvis and Montmorency, could actually be four men and two dogs on a boat together, I think we would have great uh, a great time um, hanging out on the waterways. Uh, yeah, that would uh, that would that would be really good. I, I'd like to see that. Um, Next, number four, get outside. Do you enjoy reading outdoors? I do. I do very much enjoy reading outdoors, especially in cafes, but it would have to be undercover. It'd have to be in the shade. Uh, you can tell from my complexion, I'm somebody who only has to look at the sun and I end up looking like a beetroot or a, um, a lobster or something like that. So I do very much enjoy reading outdoors, but uh, must be a shaded area because I burn so easily. Uh, preference uh, matters. Number five, preference matters. What do you prefer for outdoor summertime reading? Physical books or e-readers? Well, as I'm in the shade, uh, an e-reader would be fine. Uh, even if it's on a tablet, I wouldn't suffer too much from glare. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I used to, of course, read books outside. Uh, but if it's very hot, as it would be in the summer... Uh, you know, I might get sweaty hands and discolor the pages and ruin my book, or maybe I'll get some sand in them or whatever. So, uh, yeah, probably I'll go with e-reader for this. Number six, recommend a summertime read. Well, you know, I'm just very predictable. And I would go with Three Men in a Boat, of course. I mean, it's a, for me, it's a great summer uh, summer read. I read it last summer. Thoroughly enjoyed it, or reread it last summer with a, with a group of people. Thoroughly enjoyed it, and uh, you know it's uh, obviously about three men and and, and a dog uh, taking basically a summer vacation on the River Thames in late Victorian England. And uh, yeah, what's not to what's not to love about that, or even think of it as a as a summertime read. Uh, number seven. What is your favourite summertime beverage? Um, I, I would go with two, maybe. I do enjoy a nice uh, glass of Pims. Uh, and uh, I, I don't know if I would just drink it in the summer. Uh, well, actually, no, I'll go with three. It has to be an ice, ice cold beer, of course. Uh, you know, I live in a country that, you know, where beer is cheaper than water. So, uh, and they do do a nice, you know, you can get a nice cold one here. It's a bit like Japan where they freeze the glass. Uh, and and then the cold beer goes in as well. Not everywhere, but you can you can certainly get it like that. And then the other one would be um, it feels strange saying a cocktail or mixer from my childhood, uh, but uh, I would have to go with uh, Bermuda's national drink, which is the dark and stormy, made with Gosling's black rum and ginger beer. Uh, obviously, I didn't drink that many as a child, uh, but um, it's something I you know came back to. Uh, as I got older, 
and uh, even now I enjoy uh, a, a nice one when you can get, of course, the right rum. And it has to be uh, Bermudian Gosling's rum, black rum, uh, with a uh, good, strong ginger beer. Mm. Uh, next, uh, eight, where is your favorite vacation slash holiday destination? Uh, to be honest, these days would be home and it would be in my house that I'm having built and in the garden with Elvis and outside reading, of course, undercover, as I've already said. Uh, if I have to go abroad somewhere, uh, then my favorite destination would be Portugal, I think. Uh, I spent a lot of um, summer holidays in Portugal during my teenage years and uh, always enjoyed it there. And I, and I think Elvis would like it as well. Uh, number nine, recommend a book set in a unique uh, or exotic location. Um, I will go with the Nuala series, actually, the Nuala series by Harriet Steele. Uh, I think there's about 10 books. They're short, cozy mysteries, and they're all set in Ceylon, as it was at the time, or present day uh, Sri Lanka. Um, and, and, and actually, they're, they're great fun, uh, great fun. It uh, follows the adventures of Detective Shanti De Silva, uh, and uh, you know, it's usually a murder. Um, his wife Jane, who's, a, who's an English woman, a white English woman, it's all set in the 1920s, 30s, uh, where that would, of course, have been quite unusual. And again, I'll come back to uh, Earl de Biggers' um, Charlie Chan book. Some, you know, I just almost finished the, the second one, and... Uh, it, the first one is set in Hawaii, and I suppose that's a fairly exotic uh, location. And the um, the second one is set mostly in the uh, Californian uh, desert. Again, I would say it would be a pretty uh, exotic location. Uh, number 10. Have you ever asked a total stranger what they are reading or have given a book recommendation to a stranger in person? I have, I'm sure. I can't remember specific examples. But generally, uh, it's been on a plane or a train or sitting in a cafe, and I'm always looking over what people are what people are reading. You know that kind of craning your neck and you know, trying to see the spine or the front cover. Um, and certainly, I've had a few conversations in my my time. I I, I think one of them was on um, uh, Sergei Lukyanenko's uh, Night Watch series. Um, somebody was reading the, the the book Night Watch, the first in the series. And uh, I did ask them if they were enjoying it and then proceeded to recommend uh, the rest of the series, which I'd also recommend to you as well if you like um, magic and fantasy and something a little bit dark and just different. You know, I'm not a huge, uh, I'm not a huge horror slash fantasy uh, reader, but uh, these books grabbed me and uh, I, I really liked, really liked them. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to have to pause it again because I, uh, didn't, uh, look this up, but I have to find, uh, a new booktuber who has under 100, uh, subscribers. I did come across some the other day, so I'll just need to check out the name. So bear with me one moment, please. Okay, so the winner of my, uh, pick for the booktuber with under 100 subs is a uh, very nice young lady called, uh, and her channel's called uh, Lindy in Books. Uh, of course, I'll leave a link uh, below. Uh, she's uh, from the UK, and uh, yeah, she's uh, fairly new to BookTube. She only did her um, newbie tag um, this week, uh, which I'll probably leave the link to that below, though, I, though she said she has been making uh, videos for a couple of months already, and uh, now just got round to doing it. Uh, I also didn't make the newbie tag as my first thing. I didn't even know it existed until someone kindly pointed it out to me. So there we go. Uh, so yeah, check out uh, Lindy and Books. Uh, next, name three booktube days to do this tag. Uh, well, I'm going to be uh, very kind, actually. And that's sarcasm. Uh, I'm going to choose three other people who I know uh, have a dislike for this word. Uh, I'm going to choose Greg at another Bibliophile Read, Summer at Cozy Reading of Quaker Cats, and Sean D. Stanfast at Sean D. Stanfast. Uh, they can do it or not. It is a nice tag, despite 
uh, the use of this particular word. Um, I hope people don't think I'm hypocritical by doing it uh, after my rant yesterday. Uh, I just thought, uh, you know, I'll try and be a good sport and do it as I was very kindly tagged by uh, Michael uh, Romeo. Uh, and of course, MJ took the time and effort to make this tag as well. And it's worth doing uh, if, as I say, you can uh, get over that hurdle or, or, or dislike of uh, that particular word. So thank you very much for watching and I wish you all a great Thursday. I'm on summer holidays now, back from school. It's over, two months off. And uh, hopefully, well, hopefully for me, maybe for some of you, uh, you know, we'll be seeing a lot more of each other. So do take care, everyone. From Elvis and I, all the best. Bye-bye.